All right, everybody. Glad you could join me today. All right, so my last video, I uh, built a sheath for a custom knife from start to finish. There are seven videos involved, roughly 25, 28 minutes each. This one here won't be as long, but like I said in the other video, it's time to uh, put a sheath together for my uh, Becker BK2. So I think uh, what we're going to do is start off again, like I always do. I always start off with paper. I draw the, uh, the blade, the knife, and then I just come up with a design. Once I'm satisfied with a certain design, then what I'm going to do is transfer it to leather, cut it out, and then uh, take it from there. So stay tuned and uh, let's make another sheath. All right, so uh, I showed you real quick uh, some photos of uh, my blueprint, I guess you'd call it, my paper blueprint. I just want to show you how it looks now that it's all cut out. So right now, okay, this is all one piece. Now this is going to be the back. So basically this here part will fold on itself. And then I'm going to stitch it. All right, so that's going to fold on itself like this. This is the welt. The knife will sit in like this. Now this here, I left it long because I don't want to make any mistakes. But that's going to be the, uh, the snap. Okay, now the snap is going to be right in the middle of this triangle. And it's going to sit right in the middle of the handle. I'm going to make this thick enough that I can just flick this. Again, I'll probably put everything at uh, 10 ounce. All right. So, this will be the front. And it's going to go just under the, uh, the handle itself. Now, this is going to be the emblem that fits right here. Right there. Ah, let me bring that up. There. Step two, step three. <laughs> uh, so anyways, this is what I came up with so far, right? So I sketched everything out. Then after I sketched everything out, what I ended up doing is uh, my blueprint, I guess of my pieces that I need. I got another sheet like this, but I cut it all out. That shows the welt and the strap and whatnot. And it's right there. So right here is my paper sheath. Then uh, that's going to be the, um, the fastener. I'm going to put a, uh, a snap right there. So that's what it's going to be there. So this is all 10 ounce leather. And so far, this is the paper copy. Fits pretty good. And this is my leather. So what I got to do now is what I've been working on is my welt for my thickness. So far, I got one more piece I got to uh, cut out. And then uh, after that, It'll be coming up with colors, thread, whether or not I'm going to do some tooling, stippling, and uh, what type of thread, I guess. But anyways, that's where I am so far. So I worked on the welt. So I got the welt on the one piece. Now this is the, uh, the back of the sheath. 
where this is going to go on. Then this is going to fold in front and go inside here. But before I go any further, oh, okay, this is the top. And then this will be decorative right there. But before we go any further, we have to see how this is going to fit. Right? So all I do is straighten her out, make sure she's flat, make sure that everything's neutral, and then sheath the knife. There we go. Okay. There's just a little bit of space here and just a little bit here. All right, so now the, the knife's in there, right? But see, it won't have a retention as far as the blade goes because I'm going to have a strap. So what I do next is I see how it lines up. So, okay, so right here, Perfectly flush all the way around. Spin the blade. Here also. Okay, let me check the top. Okay. So I think this here is ready to be glued. I can do a little touch-ups here. But if you look at the top here, you can see where I'm getting a little retention right here. But this here is all going to come down. If you look at the back, right here, see it's about a quarter inch high. And then here it's high. I always do that so that when I finally do glue everything together, well then I trim that right off. And then same here, I trim that right off. So right now... Before you glue everything up permanently, always check to see your fit. There it goes. There it is. Works perfect. Sheath's good. All right. So now I'm going to continue on. And what I got to do now is I got to thin this out. That's got to go right on my line once it's thinned out. Then I'm going to have to stitch it all the way around. And once I put it here, well, then I got to stitch the V in, inside here. And also on here, I got to put it right here, line it up. And then I got to stitch around my V. So I'm happy with the fit right now. So now I'm going to set myself up for some sewing. Alright, so the holes are done in them two pieces. So now it's time to uh, choose my die and the type of thread that I'll be uh, sewing it with. Alright, color, okay, the strap, belt loop, and the triangle piece there, I'll do in uh, ox blood, the main sheath, the main sheath here, I'll do in uh, walnut. I'll use uh, blue thread. And then once it's done, the welt, I'll do in ox blood also. So let's see what happens once that's all put together. All right, so right now I'm uh, using mink oil. And I'm treating all my leather ahead of time before I do the stitching. Because a lot of times what happens when you're treating your leather after you stitch 
it'll bleed the color into whatever color you chose for your stitching, right? And I didn't want that, so that's why I'm treating my leather first. Because right here, give you an example, that's the belt loop, ox blood, and that's the stitching I used, which is a light blue. Now, if I were to stitch that first and then treat the leather, well, you wouldn't be able to see it. That would have all been red. And then, same as there. Because as I'm rubbing it, my fingers are changing colors, you know what I mean? So, that would have been all over the stitching. So, I'll continue treating the uh, leather. Do a little bit more sewing. And then I'll bring you back. Alright, so uh, that's where I am so far. Pretty well everything's stitched up and glued up except for the uh, face of the sheath. And uh, also, I got my uh, straps there. I still got to put my snaps and all that on. And then I'm going to carve it like that at one of the ends. And then the other end I'll just put round. So basically, what you're going to have... that there and then that part's got to curl around and get fastened to the back right there so this is the belt loop and that's going to be glued in set on right there all right so it's coming along pretty good so I'll do a little bit more work and then I'll bring you back all right so I glued the belt loop on we'll take a look at that Okay, so there's the belt loop. That's what I've got so far. And this is going to be where the snaps are going to go. So that's what I've gotten so far. I like it. And then that's going to be the front. Uh, I may sand this a little bit just to make sure there's uh, there's no um, dark brown stain on it. And I might put it the same color as this. But so far, that's what uh, what it looks like. So my next step is attaching the front, and then drilling my holes, stitching it, and then doing my uh, my straps. But prior to that, you don't want to do all that and find out that your blade doesn't work with the welt. So, what you got to do? To simulate that this is on and you got to draw your knife in and out and you got to watch your welt to see if your welt spreads 
because if your wealth spreads an excessive amount, well then it's too tight. So again, sheath the knife. I got a little bit of a spread, but not much. Then when I attach this, again line it all up, flush it here, flush it here, all the way up. Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Now we're going to do the same thing. And again, it's at a good height for the thickness of the handle. So now that I know that it, that it fits great, I can continue on with uh, gluing this on and then putting the holes. Now, in doing so, you can see the thickness I had to go here. This here thickness here is because of the quarter inch uh, spine, right? The stock is quarter inch. Plus the thickness of the handle with the palm swell here is why I had to do a certain thickness. And I didn't have to go any thicker than that because this here runs up like this. There's the thickness. All right. But because this is not going inside, I got away with not putting on the extra welt. But if this here was going to encase inside the knife, yeah, then I would have had to come here and put on a thicker welt. But I don't have to do that. So this is all smooth all the way around. So now all I got to do is glue this on and then continue on with my snaps. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I know that my knife sheaths very well. All right, so now it's time to do my gluing. Just a little tip. Always, always, before you do your final, <laughs> your final task, always test your knife. Because if, if, if I would have went to put it in and it's, oh, it's tight, which, then you leave it there, you remove the side, and then you can say, oh, okay, this is blocking or this is doing something. Then you can use your uh, Dremel, do a little sanding if that's the case. Or if you've got to cut some excess, then you can use your X-Acto knife to do a little bit of trimming before you, uh, because once you've got this all together, <laughs> And then all of a sudden you go to stick your knife and it only goes in that far because something's wrong. Well, you know what? You just created a lot of work for yourself. So anyways, just a little tip. All right, let's uh, continue on to work. All right. So everything should be glued up now. So we'll take a look at it. There you go. Just a little bit of glue I got to remove there from when it oozed out. But all in all, she's nice and smooth all the way. Oh yeah, that's that's a nice fit. All right. So it's glued. All I got left to do now is all the holes, stitch it up, and then make the loop. So let's see how the uh, the knife sheaths. <laughs> there you go. Now, as far as the retention goes, I think that's pretty pretty good. Okay, what do you think? All right. So again, I'll cut this to fit, 
I'll round it off here and then I'll put the snap on. That should look not too, too bad. So there you go. So I just put that sheet together and that's what I came up with. It's now complete. Okay, very basic. Again, very easy to sheath your knife. The retention's there, I made sure of that. Even though it doesn't go over the handle, I got it clipped in right here. And like I said, excellent retention. All right, but also, I put on a strap just for added security. Okay, now if you notice how the strap is facing, it's facing backwards. So if that's on my right hip and I'm traveling this way, no branches are going to, you know, flick that open. Now, if, if I was walking this way and it was on my left hip, I could easily you know, hit a branch or something like that and knock her off, right? But I'm always on the right side carry. So when I design mine, I make sure that my closure is behind me. So that's the, that's the sheath right there. Now complete. Simple. The design was fairly simple. So there's the new. versus the old. So anyways, this was just a short tutorial on making another sheath. I already put a seven part series out prior to this showing all the steps. Well this time I just showed you uh, a quick version of uh, putting a sheath together. So anyways, Thanks for uh, joining me. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. Be well appreciated. So thank you very much. And you guys uh, all take care. And we'll talk to you on the next video.